I am. We are recording. <laughs> And I am one of the Heat NMDs on this team and really excited tonight to introduce one of my dear friends. Uh, I wanted to just tell you that every Tuesday night, every the first and the third Tuesday night, we have Heat team calls that I kind of consider Tuesday my training night. So if I put it in my calendar, that's where I'm at. And I just wanted to let you know that we have a really exciting guest tonight. So many of us, you know, we go from employee to an entrepreneur and how do we do that? Well, this next guest is gonna really nail it and I'm just really happy to introduce her. Leanne Harris is from Denton, Texas where my daughter is right now because she's gonna be a flight nurse in Alaska and she's getting a training there. And she's married to her, not, not my daughter, Leanne is married to her <laughs> college sweetheart, Glenn, 42 years, that's incredible. To, together, they raised three wonderful kids. Now Leanne is a proud Mimi. She's called Mimi. Leanne has worked in healthcare over 30 years. She retired early from North Texas Hospital in Denton as an operating room radiologist, nuclear medicine technologist, performing diagnostic imaging. Woo! She is now pursuing her passion of inspiring healthy living around the world. She enjoys outdoor activity, gardening, reading, teaching, travel, and time with her family. Because of her own tra health transformation and experience in the medical field, she has decided to study plant-based nutrition at Clayton College of Natural Health and became certified and certified in plant-based nutrition with E. Cornell. Leanne is focused on empowering people towards lifestyle choices that lead to abundant health. She believes not only it's possible to slow down aging, find alternatives to pharmaceuticals, prevent disease, and live a life of vitality. It's in our control. Leanne has uh, met numerous awards. She was, uh, in 2013, she was 24 Club of the Year, uh, the Elton Award. She also, her and her team won the 39 Club Elton Award as well. Her team currently sits at 50 Club, maybe even higher. She also trained from main stage at our national conference multiple times. Thing I love about Leanne is that she is a, she has a huge heart. Her and I uh, did an event in um, Texas together. And she was she was there. I mean, she was there helping out. She uh, she's just a great, full of you know help. She is a one team, one mission gal, and I just really appreciate and admire her. And she is truly one of my mentors. I love her to death. So Leanne, I'm going to leave it up to you. First, share your story and how you got involved with this community and how you went from being an employee. It's very difficult these days for people to do that. So I'm going to leave it up to you now to fill in all the blanks. Okay. Thank you, Alita. This is so much fun to see everybody, um, these names and familiar faces that I know. And I just really, really, really appreciate the opportunity to share. I do have some pictures, if it's okay. I've taken this training from an hour long in-person training down to like 15, 20 minutes, just to kind of share with you. Am I able to share my screen okay? Yes. Yeah, you have to unhook me, so. <laughs> Is that, oh, y'all are seeing this? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so this is kind of where it all began. This is in radiology school. This is me on the, on the left and my little smock and Glenn on the right and kind of making goo goo eyes at each other. And we decided, you know, we were going to be rich and be radiology technologists. And we were just going to have this amazing life. And, you know, we got married and then here comes the three kids and the one in the middle has Down syndrome. I don't know if you, you guys know that, but then, you know, we had the special needs arena begin for us. And that was quite the adventure. And, you know, we were the average American family. Uh, we both completed our college degrees. Glenn had to work two jobs for 20 years. So we saw him four days a month. We had a lot of medical bills. Um, we didn't make a lot of money. We were always at the hospital. Um, vacations, never. We were broke in debt, not able to save for retirement. Um, we really had no hope for financial security. Um, we lived at the hospital. The kids were raised raised in the dark rooms and crawling on x-ray tables. Um, and we just, um, every weekend, every holiday, we lived there. And we thought that, you know, this is how it was, that we were gonna retire at 65. We were gonna have nice 
um, amount of money and secure, you know, and um, retirement. And it was going to be great. But guess what? That's not the way it worked out. Um, long, long, long hours in the OR, um, in, the, in the ER, and in the morgue. And after 36 years, I was able to say goodbye. But this is kind of what happened for me. I got pulled into a job evaluation at work. And I was so blessed to get a 3% raise. Whoop, whoop. Cost of living had gone up 7%. Glenn hadn't had a raise in forever. And we were still running backwards on that hamster wheel. We were broke in debt, tired. We were 45 years old at this time. And I just said, this is not working. This is not working. And at this time, I was a Juice Plus customer. And I was really a family planner um, that had kind of eaten my way to what we called back then VF, which is QSC. And I didn't really know what that meant and didn't care because I loved my job. Um, and I got a chance to go hear Ron Blue mm. come to Dallas. Yay, you know, Ron. Um, he hung the moon, in my opinion. I listened to him on the radio. I read his books. He was the Dave Ramsey of our day. And he put a stamp of approval all over this business. And unfortunately, Glenn made more money than I did because I was in the glass ceiling, right? We did the same job, but he made more because he was a male. So um, I was lifting four and 500 pound people all day, getting radiated. I'm just like, I'm, I'm trading time for money. There was no room for advancement. And I knew I was going to retire broke. And Ron Blue, he painted the picture of what could be if I said yes to stepping into Juice Plus. And he and Judy told their story. And I absolutely was changed that day. In my mind, that's the day I became an NMD. That's the day I made the decision. And I was making about $78 a month off my own orders. But that was the day, October of 2007. So I just want to show you a couple of statistics. Probably a lot of you have seen this stuff, um, but you can take a screenshot. You know, what happens when life happens? Either it's divorce um, or finances. The woman's standard of living drops 73%, you know, after the first year in divorce. The average widow is between 55 and 58. I've already lost several guys I went to school with in those years. Um, it's really hard to find new jobs if you're if you're over 50. Um, most of the people, 20% of the people who retired are below the poverty line, and more than 50% of all retirees will be fully dependent on relatives, welfare, or social security, and that's not okay with me, and we have a special needs daughter where we are supposed to have three times the income to support her so her siblings don't have to support her, so, um, and 60% of all Americans have less than 10000 in savings. And I realized that if we didn't do something different, that's where we were going to end up. So I know maybe some of you have seen Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant, but most of us end up in the employee section. And that was us. Um, a lot of people think being self-employed is the way to go. And they're the last person to get paid, right? They're always at work. And I didn't want either one of those. I wanted to be on the other side over in the, the B, the business owner, because that person cannot show up at work and they can still make money. And I'm like, I'll never be able to do that in this career. I, you know, I was a punch the clock kind of gal. And you can never really become an investor until you have that kind of money coming through and you have time freedom and options. And I'm like, I don't know any other way to get from the left side of the quadrant to the right side of the quadrant, except for building a Juice Plus business. And that's the day that I made my decision, put my hat in the ring and said, yes, I love the product. It had transformed my life. You guys, I lost 90 pounds doing the shred before the shred was a thing. And I've kept it off. I mean, this, it changed our life. Um, my husband's eczema and psoriasis gone, the kids off of the antibiotics. Um, just, you know, the migraines, the osteopenia, everything had changed. And I knew I loved the product and the culture and the people. And so it, God just kind of tapped me on the shoulder and said, Leanne, 
you're going to make a bigger difference in this community than you can in the hospital. And for those of you that know my story in the hospital, I was basically told to never, ever talk about nutrition with my patients, which was very sad to me. So I made a decision. I drew a line in the sand and I want to ask you, have you done that? What's exhausting is to say I'm in and I'm out and I'm in and I'm, I'm not going to quit today, but I, you know, <laughs> no, you make that decision and you decide I'm going to learn to become an entrepreneur. I'm through being an employee. <laughs> I want to be working for myself. So the questions to ask yourself, my name is Team Fuel, our Team Fuel name. Does your why bring emotion? Are you attached to your why? Do you know exactly what it is? Does it drive you? Can you feel it, touch it, taste it, hear it, see it? And how will you feel if you don't achieve it? It has to be a big deal for you. And so back then, you know, Ron Blue said the same thing that Dave Ramsey says, is if you will do for five years what nobody else will do, you will have for the rest of your life what nobody else will have. And I took that to the bank. I called my upline and I said, teach me how to be an NMD. And you guys, I was the person that had called to cancel my order 15,000 times. You know, she liked to fell off her chair when I said, show me how to be an NMD. So we got to work. And I went to boot camp one weekend and I came back to work on a Monday morning, as is typical. And this is the operating room board. And you can kind of see the little black lines. And so all the patients' names are up there and what room we're going to be in and what procedure we're doing. And it was like, happy Monday. And here's what it said. Get to work. You aren't being paid to believe in the power of your dreams. That's what it said on my work board on Monday morning in the operating room. And I said, you want to make a bet? I took a picture of that. And I said, I'm getting out of here, out of this toxic environment. And if you're in the medical field, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you. Um, but I, for me, wanted a job where I could go to the bathroom when I wanted to. I could actually eat lunch when I was ready. I could get off on time and go be with my kids. Um, and that wasn't the way it was. You know, you basically were owned by the hospital. So one of the things I did was I created a, a marble jar. And this marble has a, a marble for every week of my life until I'm 65. And I said, I am an entrepreneur and I have this many years to build a retirement income so that we do not retire broke. And so every Sunday I take one of those marbles out. And I give it to my teammates. And I said, this is my belief in you. This is my investment in you. Take this. Know that. I am here for you. We're going to plant seeds. We're going to grow a harvest together. And so now my marble jar is, you know, there's not very many marbles left in it, y'all. And this helped me remember that this is not a dress rehearsal. We cannot waste time. We don't have a lot of time to waste. So I did my vision board and it's gotten bigger and everything keeps happening that I put on it and I really work it. I don't just put random pictures on there. So I've got, you know, first thing that we did was pay cash for a cruise out of my Juice Plus check, got Glenn from two jobs to one job. You know, I started yoga. I got myself to part time. I trained for the St. Jude's Marathon. I mean, it was just one thing after another started coming true. And I wrote a mission statement and everything in my life kind of had to filter through this because guess what I'd been doing, y'all? I'd been memorizing the hospital mission statement, right? But I wanted my own life's mission statement and it very much aligned with Jay Martin's. <laughs> um, and so I thought, do I have the core four? You know, we have the core four in Juice Plus, the water, the movement, the whole food, nutrition, the rest. Um, but the core four for me as a student of becoming an entrepreneur is, do I have a servant or mission-minded heart? Am I putting others above my own needs? Am I teachable and coachable? Can I take constructive feedback? Do I have a good work ethic? Am I a team player, interdependent? I'm not so dependent that I'm out there trying to do it by myself, and I'm not sucking the life out of my business partners either. You know, I want to play on a team sport. So I learned to shadow my mentors. 
every time I'd go to a conference or hear a doctor speak, I would just stand there and listen. I would listen, 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 and learn the language, the language and the lingo. And I always say that if you can't teach it, you don't own it, you know? And so I studied the greats. I, you know, the Jim Rohn CD was in my car constantly and just always reading and overcoming my negative self-limiting beliefs. I mean, I had to work really hard at this for years. And then I had to make, you know, a goal with a plan. And I really did focus on that, um, you know, the two by two by two by two. That was all I could do at the time working full time. And then I pursued my master's and I was raising three kids and working my way to NMD. So when people tell me I'm too busy, you know what I want to say? You don't know busy. I'm like, let me tell you what busy is, but busy people get things done. So would you want to follow you? Are you having fun? Do you show up? To your events and remember that your events are for new people you're always bringing somebody new how about integrity honoring your word and others be the best on your team learn your resources that's what you are is you know you are the advocate and the resource queen or king know your sidelines be a connector step out to lead and contribute being part of the solution i wasn't allowed to do this stuff at the hospital right it was just do your job and keep your head down so these were all new skills for me. So this is what I did, y'all. This is how fancy I was. I couldn't even turn a computer on. This was my 5-1, royal crown. For those of you who have been around a long time, I would just write the names of my customers and I'd put an asterisk for the people that became partners. And this is how I kept track of it, month after month after month. I've got these papers still today. I still have my original memory jogger. And this is what they told me to do. So this is what I did. My goal was to do five customers a month and one partner a month. And stick with that DMO planner. I heard y'all talking about the game. We're playing March Madness as well. Um, but it is so imperative to go back to the basics, even as an NMD, back to the basics. And you guys know that time is the great equalizer. We all have the same amount of time. We can't manage time. We can only manage ourselves. And it's a myth to think we, you know, can manage our time and others' time. We just have to manage our choices. And within our franchise, we can leverage our time by having teammates. And so again, if you think about what Dave Ramsey says, is um, he says you got to budget every dollar. If, if you don't tell your money where to go, it'll grow legs and run away. Um, you have to put it in a category and you do so with your time as well. And I love that we're talking power hours and um, being very intentional. So take a picture of this. And if you've never done this activity, I really encourage you, especially when people say, I do not have time to build this business do this activity and see how much time you might have because you probably have a lot more than you realize. And every time I sit down and do this activity with somebody, they're like, oh my goodness, I am wasting so much time. So this is something that's really fun to do. So again, make a plan for your time, tell it where to go. And this is how I did it and I still do it. This is my calendar and I put my big rocks in there and then I put my other rocks that are so important to me. I color code it and I make sure I'm not too out of balance. There's always times when you want to surge you're in, your, in your business. And there's times when you get to pause and take a breath a little bit. But this is how I had to do it. I had to make sure that nobody was being neglected. You know, the kids, the husband, my exercise, all of that. Um, and still working my business. And so... If you are not really great at time management, I would suggest that you really get the serious with your calendar. It's, it's so much fun. I love it. I calendar on my phone, calendar on paper. I've got the big year at a glance calendar. I mean, I really work hard at designing my life. Because if you don't design your own life, chances are you will be in somebody else's plans. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. So make sure you stay connected and stay the course, stay in line, 
and just are you willing to pay the price? If you're not, that's okay. You don't need to. This is me on a Monday night call. I remember being on Carrie Daigle's call, sound asleep, worked all day, kids, homework, dinner, got to get up at four in the morning and do it all over again. And I'm sound asleep. And Glenn thought that was hilarious. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be easy, but I am telling you it will be worth it. And so Carrie would fly down from St. Louis and work with me in Denton. This is the very first time I met Wendy at a conference. And I walked up to her right after this picture. And I said, teach me how to cast vision. Because I knew if I could cast vision, I could help people have faith. This is my first trip to the NMD boot camp, Don Rathman and Catherine at the Eltons. You guys, I got a phone call at work. And it was Michael Heck and Gloria Cooper. And it was on a Thursday and I was walking through the hall and I slipped into my little nuclear medicine hot lab and I said, hi, what's up? And they said, we have something really exciting to tell you. I'm like, yeah, what is it? And they're like, guess what? You made NMD. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, and I'm just like, it's so excited. And oh, I was just so grateful. And this huge burden had been lifted off of me. And guess what I had to do? I had to put on my hat, put on my mask, and go back in the OR and not tell a soul because they all detested the fact that I was trying to get out of the hospital and build a life for myself. So Glenn sent me flowers the next day and um, took a picture there at work. So dreams do come true. Um, we have gotten to travel and go to most, some of the most amazing places and give to people that we've always wanted to give to. So what I love to tell people is if you really understood residual income, you would walk through a brick wall to get it. And at first, your friends are going to ask you why you're doing what you're doing, but later they'll ask you how you did it. And you guys, we all have residual bills. Why not have residual income. The best is yet to come. Imagine if somebody had not insisted that I look at Juice Plus. She asked me six times. In this picture on the right, I was 250 pounds. You can see the Coke I just slammed down. I had a pharmaceutical cabinet that was from A to Z. And I tell you what, I am so thankful. I was pursued. I was on somebody's list and she did not want to let me go. So you guys, I love Jay Martin still today. We are a mission-driven company, inspiring healthy living around the world. And when health is absent, wisdom cannot reveal itself. Art cannot be manifested. Strength cannot fight. Wealth is useless. Intelligence cannot be applied. Our health is everything. So it is time to pay it forward. You guys, you've got to go ahead and just get out of your comfort zone and pay it forward because there's nothing more rewarding than watching that next person on your team with their promotion. And so that is kind of my story. I left the hospital 10 years ago. We made NMD in under five years. We had a goal of five years and we made it. And I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, my husband is at the hospital still three days a week. Um, which is great because we still have our hand in there a little bit, but um, he's actually home making our salad in the jars right now from the tower garden. And so I'm so thankful that I don't have to punch the clock and that I can be here for my grandbabies and my kids and for whoever else needs me. And I just want to say, if you'll just do for five years what nobody else will do, what could it possibly do for your future? So I'm going to wrap up and say thank you so much for letting me share a snippet of my story, Alita. Oh, gosh. I have tears in my eyes. I'm just so proud of you and inspired by your story and your, in, you know, and your trend, um, transparency of how it all went down and all the work you've done and stuff. And you, you make it look so easy, but I know there's been times when you have really worked really hard. I mean, it's just, you know, you pick your heart, guys, pick it. <laughs> what is your heart? I mean, I, I can't even imagine. Um, I think of my own kids in, in the operating room right now. And my daughter has nine children and she's doing heart surgeries on babies. And I just, I think about you and I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but 
so when in the beginning, when you were like looking to transition from employee to entrepreneur, did you schedule out like two days a week? This is my time. Like, I know that your calendar was not nearly as busy as it is now, as far as your blocks. Oh, you are- guys, um, I mean, back then we had boys come and at every break, I was out in the parking lot listening to voice calm. Everybody else was in the break room eating donuts and watching Jerry Springer. And I was out <laughs> building for events and I would see a nurse in the hall. And I'm like, God, you got to listen to this message. This is from Dr. Tamara Sachs or, oh my God, you know, I, I lived it, breathed it and eat, ate it um, in every spare moment I got. And it wasn't easy. And because they told me I could not talk about my business or juice plus at work. So that's not an excuse, but it it does make it harder. Um, My goal was the two by two by two by two in the beginning. It was just to talk to two new people a day, follow up with two people. It was just the DMO tracker. And I had to drive an hour to see my event, an event. There were no events near me. I had to go to Dallas or Fort Worth. It was hard, y'all. It was really hard, Um, but it was all I knew. And again, am I going to work to 65 and be dead broke? Or am I going to see what I can do in five years? And so, um, yeah, I I did my first wellness presentation and I'd never even seen one, seen one. And my husband said, honey, it was so bad that if we could have left, we would have, but it was our house. (laughs) I remember being at my first conference and Deanna Christofferson, this cute thing, you know, you will do wellness presentations. And I looked over at Carrie and I'm like, I am never doing a wellness presentation. And she said, we'll see, you know, and I'm just like, dang it. (laughs) I've screwed up everything you can screw up. You know know what, Deanna, I want to thank you too, for your um, part that you play in really gifting the whole Juice Plus community and all the, um, you know, the, you've been to Phoenix, you know, and all the presentations you've done all over the country, you're really a gift to our company. Just Thank really you. grateful. You know, here's what I believe. Um, God has allowed me to share the truth. I love to study nutrition. I love to study all of this stuff. I mean, constantly podcasting books, but I couldn't tell the truth at the hospital. Mm-hmm. I was threatened to be fired. So y'all, your doctors won't tell you, your medical staff can't tell you who's going to do it. We are. And so I just want you to know that God just said, you're going to have a bigger difference and make a bigger difference outside those walls of the hospital than you could inside. And now I know why. And God's allowed me to build a platform on the Juice Plus business, you know, to be able to speak the truth. It's so wonderful. I I love getting to do it. It's life-changing information that we get to share. Well, I just want to thank you so much for coming on our, our team call. And I guess we can unmute everybody. You can all give her one word that you loved about it. And, and before, let's anybody- before we go, I just want to remind everybody to stay on the call to get oh, the yeah. winners of the contest. Now I'm going back to you, Alita, to uh, <laughs> welcome to thank Leanne. This was yeah, so thank Leanne. Inspiring. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was great. Thank you, Leanne. Thank Woo! you. Inspiring. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. So good. Hi, y'all. See you in India. Appreciate you. you. Inspiring. So inspiring. 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 Thanks for being awesome. awesome. Thank you. What a gift. I love my little Texas family. loves you here. Awesome. <laughs> We we like to drive up to Denton and see you, Leanne. This is Beth Pearson. Oh yes, <laughs> we just had David Phillips two weeks ago. I know, I missed that. Oh, all right. Good night, y'all. Good, Good night. night. Bye. And thank you, thank you. Wow, wow, that was such a great call. Lots of notes, and I don't know about the rest of you, but really inspiring. It was beautiful. I hope you're not jumping off because you're going to want to know who's going to get away with some bucks for our February contest. So, Carolyn, can I turn this over to you? Diane and Uh, Sandy. (laughs) Yes, you may. Uh, (laughs) I'm going to uh, try to share my screen here. Okay. 
Okay, I just wanted to put up this flyer, um, everyone, that you know our company was giving incentives uh, for for you all for February. If you got a new partner that got an order, they they got something, and we thought as your upline NMDs, we all pitched in to want to give sweet in a pot, we call it. So there were there were a lot of entrepreneurs this month who actually added partners. If you added a partner with an order, you got an entry. If you got them the partner plus uh, fast track. You got three, you each got three. And if they express track, you actually got five entries each. So uh, what what you can win, here's what we were, were going to be doing here in just a minute. I put all the names on a wheel and I'll share that wheel and we will um, pick two people. We'll win $75 on, on that wheel. And then we'll reveal to you who was the sponsor on the Heat team that had the most partner pluses out of everyone and they will earn an extra $150. So, Woo! okay. So with that said, I, let's see, I got to stop share so I can get over to that wheel. Drum roll, please. Yes. Okay. And you don't have to be on the wind. That's a nice part. <laughs> um, all right. So let me spin this wheel and see who is our winner. And what are they winning this time on this? They're winning $75. Okay. And that lucky winner is Tanya Turner on Tyra Weeby's team. Tyra, do you need to take a picture of that? I know you're on the call. I sure will. Happy to do so. Woo okay. So congratulations, congratulations Tanya. Woo! Yes. Okay. Let's try. We're going to do one more spin for $75. And let's see. Who the next winner is. Jennifer Straub's team. I gotta take a picture. Jennifer, are you on here? She was here. I am. I am on. Let me get a picture oh. of that. All right, great. Get that picture. So that is, those are our two winners, uh, random winners from people who earned the right to be put on that wheel. And so with that said, the next one is who was the person that won the most, uh -huh. uh, that earned the most partner pluses? And the winner is Shelly Ross and Foss on Jennifer Strop's team. Awesome. Team captain. Yay, Shelly. <laughs> yes, she was amazing. So congratulations to Shelly. I don't believe she got on the call tonight. I, I think her. she yeah, is. She's on. She's on. Are you here, Shelly? Let me see if you she's are. on. Hang on one second. I am. I'm here. Shelly, yeah, we here. have a few words from you. What did you do to get partner pluses? Oh, my goodness. Well, I have the amazing, she's awesome, um, Jennifer Straub as my um, upline. So we did lots of sourdough workshops and lots of um, follow-up so it was a great response and I'm I'm honored and very thankful congratulations Shelly that's awesome to hear she did an thank amazing you. job I mean, thank you so much I was looking for yes. her to highlight but I couldn't find her fast enough all right well everyone thank you all for being on this call tonight um what's happening next week do we have next week off where are we? uh, next week is today's team the calls. All team calls. Team calls. Our own team call. Right? Yeah. Well, we always we always have that uh, the March Madness call. Yeah, we'll we'll have March we'll Madness have that. at five forty, yeah. and mm -hmm. on the twelfth, uh, the the Cotton Club has Transformational Tuesday. So if you want to be transformed with good mindset, you can jump on our call if you don't have a team call. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Congratulations to all the entrepreneurs that were on the wheel that they really worked hard to earn that right. And it'd be exciting to see um, how things are going to go forward with this March Madness team too. Okay. Carolyn, can I say, can I say one thing, job. Carolyn? Can sure. I say yeah. one thing? You Kelly can Goins, who, who won uh, on the drawing, Shelly is her sponsor. So look at the impact Shelly's making because now Kelly even won. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Good to know. All right, thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Thanks for hosting this call tonight. Thanks for, uh, also for Alita, Aliana, did, Leanne did a great, I want to watch that again, so. I do too. That was a fabulous call, Alita, and your um, 
hostessing is um, just superb. She's so yeah. I mean, That's I thought it was a really simple nuts and bolts call. Yeah, really beautiful. All right, everybody. Carolyn, thank you. Beverly, thank you. All the rest of you, Alita, Leanne, all those that come on tonight. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Have a great evening. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.